Hello developers, in this video I will show you how to download and install the latest version of Android Studio on your Mac. If you are already having an Android Studio installed on your Mac and you want to update it to the latest version, then you can click on this check for updates option from Android Studio menu options. If you have any updates you will get a pop up in the bottom right corner. From there you can update your Android Studio to the latest version. But if you don't have the Android Studio version installed on your Mac, then you can follow these steps. But before installing the Android Studio, let me check the current available storage space in my Mac. It is 128GB. Remember this? Because I will show you how much space the Android Studio uses to install completely and run a project in the Mac OS. Okay, first open browser, search for download Android Studio. Click on this first link. This page will give you the link to download the latest stable version of Android Studio. The current stable version is Meerkat. And if you click on this read release notes, this page will give you the details like AGP version required for the specific Android Studio version, minimum version of tools for your Android API level, and the features and improvements included in this latest Android Studio version. If you have a requirement to install a specific Android Studio version instead of the latest version, then you can find the older versions of Android Studio here. Click on this link. Agree to the terms. Here you can find the Android Studio download archives. The latest version is Meerkat, but you can still download the older versions from here. Ladybug, Cola, Jellyfish, Iguana, etc. But it is always recommended that you download the latest stable version. So go back and download the Meerkat version. Click here. Come down. Accept the terms and conditions. If you are using Windows, you find only one installable here. But if you are using Mac, you find two different installables here. To decide which one to download, go to Apple icon. Select about this Mac. Based on the Mac chip type, you download that specific installable. My Mac is having Apple M1 chip, so I am downloading the Mac with Apple chip version. Okay, download started. Wait here, it may take several minutes. Depends on your internet speed. Okay, download completed. Go to downloads folder. Double click on this Android Studio DMG file. So this is Meerkat installation window. Drag the Android Studio into applications folder. Copy it successfully. Now open Finder app, go to applications. Double click on this Android Studio app. Open. This is the Android Studio Setup Wizard. Click Next. Select Standard and click Next. All these components will get downloaded onto your Mac. Click Next here. Select the first set of components list. Accept the license. Next, accept the Android SDK ARM license as well. Now click on Finish. It started downloading the required components. Wait here till it download and install all the components. This may take time. Again, it depends on your internet speed. For me, it took two minutes. Okay, installation successful. Click on finish. This is the Android Studio welcome page. Here, either you can create a new project by clicking on this plus symbol or you can open the existing Android Studio projects from here. Okay, let me show you how to create and run a new Android project. Click on this plus symbol. These are the project templates. You can select any one of these based on your project UI requirement. If you select empty activity template, the project will be created with Jetpack Compose by default. You won't have any language selection. But if you select any other activity template, you can have an option to select the programming language, Java or Kotlin. Okay, let me select navigation drawer views activity. 
for my project change the name by default this project will be created under your home android studio project location but if you want you can update the save location next select the language either java or kotlin same way build configuration language you can select either kotlin or java you can set the minimum sdk that your app wants to support based on your selection here the percentage of devices that your app is going to support will be updated so choose wisely to support maximum number of devices now click on finish so android studio is creating my project so let's wait Sync is taking a significant amount of time to download dependencies. Open Sync tool window. So it's downloading all required source and library dependencies. Okay, done. This is the Java module named as app. You can add multiple number of modules in one project. This is Android view. Let's change it to project view. So this is my project view. These are the two important folders, app and Gradle. Under app module, you can find the test and main folders. Under main, you can find the source code for your project and also resource files like layouts, images, themes, strings, files, etc. for your project. And in main, you can find Android manifest.xml file also. In the app module, you will have build.gradle file where we mention version number, target SDK version, compile SDK version, and library dependencies, etc. Okay, now let's run the project. By default, the project has created medium phone API 35 virtual device. If you want, you can change the virtual device selection. Click on this device manager in the right side options. Select this plus symbol and create a new virtual device. From this window, you can select the emulator model and create the new virtual device. For now, let me run the project on default emulator. Yes, this is the navigation drawer views activity project. Okay, to update the Gradle plugin versions, use AGP upgrade assistant tool. Here it will show you if any plugin updates are available. To update the Android SDK tools, go to settings, click on this SDK manager. And to check the project related settings, select project structure from settings. Here you can find Gradle version, plugin version, compile SDK version, source and target compatibility versions, your SDK location, etc. So now you can start updating Java and resource folders to implement new features in your project. Finally, let's check the available storage space after installing the Android Studio. It is 107.93 GB, means around 20 GB was used by the Android Studio. So make sure you have minimum 20 GB storage space on your Mac before installing the Android Studio. Hope you installed the Android Studio on your Mac successfully by watching this video. For more useful videos related to Android, please subscribe to iRacket Tech Solutions. Thank you.